Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this uh, episode series, um, I will be basically on job site deboxing this seven inch variable speed polisher and sander. Um, kind of fixing the fascia, uh, small part of the fascia on this. And uh, unfortunately I didn't bring my grinding wheel. Uh, I had a wire brush. Uh, so this may take a while. Anyways, uh, this is what I got. I knew I had to use it because I was going to do some Bondo work. And um, this particular model actually comes with, uh, it actually uh, comes with the handle, which, which is cool. That's what I was looking for. And this handle here. So let's see what's, what's all in here. Let's take it out. It's seven inch. So here I am, uh, working on this project out here, and doing a little fix-up job for a friend. And well, I don't know how informative he is, probably not that informative, but this is the 7-inch polisher sander. Uh, simple and easy to operate. This just basically screws on. And then, uh, excuse me, let me get my holster. So, uh, you all can. Uh, Three here for a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Looks like an easy thing to operate and, and run. So, uh, so here we go. It basically just screws on. It's got the, the Velcro center. There's a little air pocket right here for some reason. It's like, I don't know if that can be adjusted or not. Well, anyways, there's a little air pocket right, right here. I don't know if you're, you're able to see that. But uh, let's lock it into place. Screw it on. Ugh. Oh, you want me to move? I can move. A little bit to the light, you know. Yeah, I can. I just move right there. Let's move right there. It's not a big deal. If you're using something, oh my God, you got so many equipment. Yeah, yeah. What is this? That's a. Uh, that's a uh, air compressor. I was gonna. I don't know if I needed my air gun, the nailing gun over there. So the, the nailing gun over oh, over there. Wow. Um, but uh, I, I maybe I, I do. I wasn't sure if I was gonna nail anything. Mm. So I brought that and then the table saw for the table uh, for cutting Jeffrey's uh, door. Oh, so really? Cutting. Yeah, you said it doesn't close, so you I think it needs everything? to be almost everything. I forgot to bring. Uh, Mean you you bought like that already? Oh yeah, I already have oh, had one, so it's not a big deal. Very looks new. It it is new. Yeah. It is pretty yeah, much yeah. new. And I and I know I needed this, so I bought. I had to buy. Okay. I had to buy this. Uh, so. Hey, you're professional. Well, guys. not really, because I forgot. I forgot my tools. What tool? <laughs> I forgot. I had I had it ready when I was coming here, so. Um, but it's all right. It's not a big deal. Uh -oh. I I still I still. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> okay. So, are you going somewhere right now? Um, later, yeah. Okay. Let me let me put this together and I'll move yeah, it. Yeah, do, do it so the table right now. Okay.
So thank goodness it comes with the hex wrench, although I did bring mine. So uh, let's just figure out how it goes in. Let's see how would I like it to go in. All right, dude. <laughs> Yeah, just bond to it for now. See how it holds up, and uh, if it if it gets bad than that, then we'll replace it. You know, so. If if I need to, if I need it, yeah, I, I brought it just in case. It. You know, I'm working off the back of my truck. It's not ideal circumstance. I think I'll take it this way, and uh, first I'm not going to give you the full details on this. I'm just going to put the screw in here for now, just to get it out of my way, because I'm going to have the handle on the, on the left side, because I'm right-handed and I like to pull the trigger with my right hand. So. Anyways, I know this isn't the most ideal situation, but... Cut unedited, first person view. For those of you who know my style, um, this video is going to be long. Uh, if this is too boring for you, you may want to, you know, uh, skip around. Um, can't be too detailed in this particular case, but I did want to show you the unboxing of this 7-inch sander polisher. And right now, just off the get-go, uh, this particular model has the handle on the, uh, has this extra handle that I put on. The other models uh, are, will just give you this only. Um, but, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I want this handle. This almost feels like a die grinder. easy. Uh, it does come with uh, looks like uh, some bushings. So you get two bushings, a wrench, two screws, a handle, and a side handle. And I'm not even going to bother really with the directions. I uh, don't know what else I can do with it. This is a real simple power tool. Uh, I'm going 
go ahead and plug it in and see if it how it works. Oh, let's, let's attach the uh, sanding uh, disc on it. Uh, sanding disc should be right here. Yeah, excellent. So I got the seven inch sanding disc. Look at the picture, it's, uh, it's made for this particular power tool. So okay, I, got, I got extra. grit which I think will work for what I'm planning to do. Um, it's going to be bondoing fascia. Let's see I got the bondo right here as well if you're all wondering. Uh, works for with, with wood as well so it doesn't have to. I know there's a picture of a car on there but apparently. And uh, keep in mind I've never done this before. This is all new for me so as I'm going through it you're, you're going through the experience with me. So let's see, apparently this thing can and should be able to stick right on here. So let's see if, uh, how well I can do that. Uh, oh, looks like it sticks pretty good. I'm just going to just start in the middle and just work my way around it. Velcro, isn't that just an amazing machine? There we go. So it looks like it's got a little edge to it. Just a little bit more on this side, but that's all right. Important thing is that it's on there. Okay, so let's get my extension and start running that extension here. I may not need this, but uh, it may not be safe to have this particular to it so let's take that off all right so this is what I need over here on this side Sorry if you can't see this. Uh, got a new shirt on or new jacket, so it's not as tight fitting. And here's a an exterior outlet right here. Okay. And uh, I'll just plug it in and see if it works. Ooh, it's kind of dusty. Okay. Should probably just plug that in here just to see if it's working. There's a green light that comes on. I'll just put it in here anyway. It has a surge protector and all that, so maybe it makes a difference. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, you know, the green light's coming on. Okay, so I know it works. And just to test it out, I'll go ahead and use that. So, uh, here we go. This is actually a review and a field test all at once. Um, when you get this, you don't get the sanding disc or polisher, or you don't get really anything, a buffer. You just get the pad, and that's about all you get. And it just basically just screws on here. Of course, I'm assuming the wheel turns that way. Uh, you do, this is a stop right here, so you can stop it. So actually, oh, I guess it turns this way. Uh, it's turning this way right here. So you can just, by hand probably just, that's good enough. What I like about it is uh, that option of variable speed, which that's gonna be a big plus for me. It's seven inch, which is bigger. Um, if you've seen the four and a half inch grinder, it's a little bit bigger than that. Uh, well, it's quite a bit bigger. Well, not really, just bigger than that. But the variable speed is gonna make the difference and I'm gonna be up there sanding. Let's see if uh, we can get this. Okay, so there is a safety button. So here it is, and um, I'm going to give it a shot here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, that's on three, let's put it on six. Okay. 
and put on one. Put on one. I think there's a locking mechanism for this. No, there is no locking. It doesn't doesn't lock. I guess this particular model does not lock, but it has that handle, which um, that's what I'm looking for. Anyways, that's the lowest speed setting. Okay, I think that's that's gonna work. Excellent. Uh, okay, I'll take you out now. So basically, my first uh, impressions of this is that uh, it's gonna be very useful. Um, the cost is again very low, entry level, uh, seven seven inch. It's pretty big, and uh, I bought it for this particular job where I am going to be attempting to bondo this. And uh, it looks pretty bad, but uh, let's, I'm going to bondo it first. It's really cheap to do it that way. Then if I need to, I'll replace the whole thing. Probably gonna have to paint it too, but uh, I know I definitely needed this to do it. So uh, uh, probably need to sand some a lot of that stuff right now. So I'll, I'll field test it for you. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This is probably really short, really easy. Take it out of the box, put it in. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe, um, and stay tuned for updates. Uh, and click on a few ads. Thanks a lot. Bye.